Hey everyone, Jesse here with 3 Prong Gaming. And today's episode, I want to give you guys an introduction into my new tutorial series, uh, which will obviously be in the Unreal Engine 4. A little bit of a deviation from what uh, you might be used to, but it should be fun nonetheless. Uh, what we're going to do in this series is we're going to create an RTS. I've already started on this here and uh, I'm going to show you guys what we've done so far and we'll uh, do a tutorial series and I'm going to stay out in front of this. Um, as, in other words, I'm going to continue building this uh, out in front of the tutorial series so that way, um, yeah, I'm always prepared and we've got something always ongoing. Anyways, it's going to be an RTS real-time strategy. And you can see here, I named it Tropico style. It's going to be similar in nature to what Tropico is. Um, it's just going to be a single player game. Let me just go ahead and give you guys a brief idea of what it's about. Now, mind you, this is very simplistic uh, in what it looks like. Um, the game is far from being completed, uh, but there's a lot that went into doing this. And uh, so it's worth showing you guys. Uh, I think we're far enough along that I can do the tutorial series on it. But yeah, we've got various things going on here uh, for our player controller here. And uh, so we'll create ourselves a, a nice player controller. Got zoom in, zoom out, all that good stuff. But we can place building, put it down. Uh, we've got overlap detection, so you can't place a building on top of another building. Uh, same thing here, except for this is uh, angle check. And obviously you can rotate your buildings and place them down in any direction that you would like. We've got a custom time and date feature with a built-in game speed, make the game go faster. We also got some AI. They go and uh, do a little bit of work on their own. They're gonna go here and they're gonna build this up. Get this going here, you can see that we can speed up its build time and then the building's complete and then they will eventually move on and do all the buildings. So like I said, it seems very simplistic in nature, but we've got a lot that's going on with each and every blueprint here. We've got several blueprints down here. So uh, enough of that. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about what uh, you're going to learn in this series. Well, you're going to learn how to do some parent-child relationships in your blueprints. You're gonna learn various methods to communicate between your blueprints, uh, such as interfaces, event dispatchers, macros, functions, uh, and of course, direct references, which includes casting and storing those instances inside of variables. We're also gonna do some uh, UMG widgets. We're gonna create some menus and submenus, and we're gonna make them multi-tiered. We're gonna do some progress bars, and we'll do some customizations like adding images for our buttons. Um, we're also going to do behavior trees and blackboards so that way we can create our autonomous AI behavior system. The AI is going to be able to eat, sleep, work, play all by themselves with uh, no interactions from you. Uh, we're going to create a happiness system. We're going to do an immigration system and we're going to do a form of resource gathering. We're also going to build the custom player controller, which is going to have a zoom, some screen edge movement, pan, tilt, things of that nature. We'll do a custom date and time feature and we're gonna implement it to do things such as game speed. We're also uh, use it for the MPC game speed. So that way when you adjust the game speed, all your AI will move and work and everything will happen accordingly based off of the game speed. And then we're also gonna build a financial and economic system so that way um, you know, you can have money, use money to do all your construction and, and, uh, we'll have a trade and import and export system. We'll also do some level design, but all that level design and, and everything that's, that's going to be way towards the end right now. Whenever you build a game, if you don't know, you want a gray box. You want to make just everything as simple as possible because ultimately the goal of the game initially is just to get its functionality going. And that's where we're at right now. We're we're just going to build the functionality for the game. And then once we get close to perhaps an alpha stage, that's when we start doing all the level designs and trying to make some custom meshes and custom materials and all that. But hopefully uh, at some point we'll get to that towards the end of the series. During the series, I'm going to make some basic assumptions. This is not going to be an 
this is my first time using Unreal type tutorial system. There's plenty of videos out there to teach you how to do certain things in here. I'm going to make some assumptions that, you know, you know what blueprints are, what you have an idea or at least have heard of interfaces and enums and event dispatchers. Um, just understanding what those are. You don't necessarily need to know how to use them. Uh, we'll teach you how to use those in this tutorial series, but you need to know what they are. You need to know how to navigate the editor. You need to know how to be able to create blueprints and move around in the 3D environment. You also kind of have a, need to have an understanding of how the blueprint or the node system itself works. In other words, how the execution works from left to right, how branches work, um, how to hook up all your pins in the branches and uh, how to set up variables and things like that. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time discussing how to create a blueprint. I'm just gonna create the blueprint. So if you don't have a basic understanding of that, uh, you might have an initial difficulty following along. It is simple. You should be able to follow along nonetheless, but just know ahead of time that I'm not gonna spend much time talking about those. So what can you expect from me? Well, during this tutorial series, you can always expect me to be clear and concise in my explanations. Uh, things can get pretty complicated, so I will do all I can to try to explain what each node does or why we set certain things up, especially when it comes to parent-child, and we're going to set up some proxy blueprints. Um, we're going to build up a, uh, a building master or construction manager, and it can get a little confusing. So I'll do the best I can to try to explain everything. You can expect me to create short tutorials. I'm gonna to try to keep everything under 30 minutes. Um, and actually that's my top tier. I'm gonna to try to keep them shorter than that. And I'm gonna to try to keep them focused on a minimal number of different tasks. Uh, if the tutorial is focusing on complex issues, then I just wanna focus on that one complex issue. Then we'll move on to the next video. Um, if it's, relatively simple in nature as far as you know just hooking a few things up adding a few functionalities and it's not that complex then i might focus on a couple extra tasks during that but you can expect that the complex ones will focus on that and that's what the video will be about you can also expect me to do some regular uploads i hate pinning myself down to a specific number because i always seem to fail when i do that but with this tutorial series there's not going to be a lot of post-production uh, necessary for this so I'm hoping I can punch out a couple tutorials a week it depends I do have a personal life and I do work and got kids and all that so I'm gonna do the best I can to try to maintain at least two videos a week may not happen on occasion but uh, that's that's my goal you can also expect me to have a fast response if you leave me comments questions down below I, I take pride in trying to interact with everybody who's who uh, uh, sub submits comments to my channel. You can also expect me to have uh, quality HD videos, uh, especially with these nodes. I know it can be difficult to really kind of see their names and we'll zoom in here on this one. I know sometimes it's difficult and to have HD really makes it easier. So I will try to provide the best quality HD that I can. I'm also going to provide frequent pause breaks when we set up a node structure i'll give you a time and say okay go ahead and pause your video or i'll put an annotation on the screen to let you know a pause breaks coming up so that way you could sit there pause the video you could look at the node setup catch up to where we're at in the video unpause it and then continue along with the series but along with those pause breaks i'm also going to take some uh, screenshots, some still images of the complex. I won't do it for every node system. I mean, something like this with the pause menu, it's uh, relatively simple. So I'm not going to take a still image of that. I'm not going to screenshot that. Um, but when we get into the more complex ones, see if I can find an example here. Probably not on the player controller. But as we get into the more complex ones, uh, I will take still images. I'll upload them to my Imgur account. I think that's how you say it. I-M-G-U-R. And I'll put them there in different folders for the different lessons slash uh, videos in the series. And you guys can go there, download the images, put them on your computer. So that way you've got them. I know sometimes that's a little bit easier to see than, than the video. So with that, I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. It should be fun. should be 
educational. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Until the next video, see you.